Okay, so this is week three of the uh, Silfco Draft Premier Ball. Um, I think basically VGC reg Regulation E uh, Draft League. And um, I'm just subbing in just now. So I'm just starting in week three. And I made some trades, but they have not taken effect yet. I'm making up this game from last week. So um, I'm just going to start with the team preview right here that we started with. Uh, this is the Blood Moon Salamence team that we're going up against. They have a very scary draft, I feel. They have a lot of um, future paradoxes, including Iron Hands and Iron Bundle, with the electric terrains that are in Pin Kirchen. So... Uh, those three are a pretty scary combination, and a Tailwind Setter as well. Um, and the first thing I notice here is that I have one way to damage Iron Hands, and it is Terra Fairy Dreadnought. So that's kind of immediately my most important Pokemon, and um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going to start, and then we'll just go from there. Alright, so he's going to lead with the Iron Bundle and Iron Jugulus, so a very um, fast offensive lead, kind of, with the potential to set up Tailwind. I'm going to lead with my Raichu for the Fake Out Pressure here, and I have the Assault Vest and Namorous, which I just lead because it feels pretty safe, it can take a hit from pretty much anything. As we can see, I take a Freeze Dry and a Snarl from these two, which is unfortunately going to lower my special attack, but it's... Not a huge deal, because this is more just to spread damage. Um, that's what an Emerus is for, is just to be bulky and spread damage. Luckily, I get a crit here, as you can see, and we just take out the Iron Jugulus really quickly. So, um, But yeah, I'm just trying to spread damage with this thing so that I can bring in my Rain Sweeper later and just clean up with it. So he's going to bring in the Iron Hands here, I think, right? Alright, so we know that he can go for Fake Out, he's going to do that, I can't do anything about it. Um, but I do get Encored, which I probably should have seen coming, but I didn't, so kind of fucked here. Um, I have to switch my Raichu out, because it's just doing nothing for the next three turns. And um, my Enamorous is just going to get outsped and KO'd here, so a little bit of a momentum shift obviously, after I got a critical hit. Um, kind of feels like I'm on the back foot here, having to make this um, switch. But luckily, he does go for the Drain Punch, because I had Lightning Rod on the field. He obviously cannot go for Thunder Punch. And Pelipper is going to take that super easily. I'm going to send out my Raichu again, because I know that he still can't go for Thunder Punch. Freeze Dry is still a problem, but... I have Terra Electric, so I'm kind of hoping that he will um, not call my bluff on that. He goes for Icy Wind, thankfully, um, which is not really, doesn't matter. Uh, I was not going to outspeed that thing anyways. I go for Volt Switch here. I don't really agree with that play. I should have known he was going to Terra Electric. I think I probably should have just brought out Dreadnought on the last turn. Knowing what I know now, it's... Um, it does have Protect on the Iron Bundle, and it's Assault Vest Iron Hands, so I could have always just gone for um, what I'm about to go for, which you're going to see. Uh, and I take a Drain Punch, which does so much fucking damage, but luckily I barely survive. He's going to switch out the Iron Bundle because I got my Tailwind up, and with Tailwind and the Swift Swim, he knows I'm going to outspeed the Iron Bundle, which is crazy that Dreadnought can even do that. I'm going to go for my Terra Fairy here. And remember, I am Choice Band uh, Dreadnought, so I'm going to go for my Terra Fairy, and I'm going to Helping Hand, and I'm going to delete the Iron Hands from the game.
Yeah, that felt really satisfying. Iron Hands is one of those Pokemon that is like... Sometimes it just feels impossibly bulky, like you can EV it to survive anything. And um, that felt really satisfying. So he's gonna bring out the Iron Bundle again, which gets the Cork Drive boost. So um, I think actually I'm still faster though, because I have Swift Swim and the, the Tailwind boost. So I have four times my 75 base, 74 base speed, something like that. He's gonna go for Protect, which this is the turn that I found out he had Protect. I did not know that beforehand. Um, and I wasn't sure because he had like Encore and stuff, so I was, I just decided to go for it. It was safer uh, with Lightning Rod on the field and Terra Fairy. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like a bigger threat than Pincurchin, although I don't know if it was. But Pincurchin only used Acupressure, which only gave him an accuracy boost. Probably could have gone a lot worse than it did, but it was just an accuracy boost, so I was able to, um, again, outspeed and one-hit KO with the Choice Band Terra Fairy Blast. And that's pretty much the end of the game. I'll just go ahead and let it play out and fast forward because basically I fling my King's Rock, which is a tech that I just wanted to show off. I probably should have kept it hidden, but I didn't. And I'll just Terra Blast and Terra Blast again, and that's the game. So I take game one. Um, that one was pretty back and forth, it felt like. I definitely got the crit early on, and that was super lucky because the Iron Jugulus could have caused problems if it was around for much longer. Um, like, my Dreadnought was on 14 HP the whole time, so if I had taken any more damage at all from, like, a, a straight air slash or something. Okay, so for game two, I know I'm already ahead, so I can be a little bit riskier this time around. And for some reason, I'm going to lead the Ogre Pawn. And... Even when I was doing this, I kind of knew that Ogre Pond didn't have a whole lot of merit here. There is some kind of threat I can offer by terastalizing, I guess, but I don't really see it as a good matchup. I'm going to lead it anyways because I'm already up a game, and I'm going to lead the Assault Vest and Amorous. Again, just to spread damage, and here I have to make a decision because I was really torn between do I really want to bring this Ogre Pond and lose my electric immunity in, um, and electric protection as well for my uh, ally and drop the Raichu, but I ended up just going, yeah, Ogre Pond and dropping the Raichu and bringing my Rain Core in the back as cleanup again. And so yeah, let's just get into game two. All right, so Salamence is going to lead the same lead that he did before, which, again, is a pretty scary lead considering I decided to bring Ogre Pond for some reason, but I do apply the pressure of Terastalizing because I'd get a speed boost. Um, so he's going to protect here, and I Ivy Cudgeled into him. I feel like that was a bad play. I should have known he would protect. Um, I mean, I should have respected the pressure that I was applying myself, so that was a little bit weird. Um... And he's going to Snarl here, so again, my Springtide Storm is not going to do enough without the crit, so. Uh, that was a, a really nice defensive play. I kind of tunnel visioned a little bit, I feel like, there, so I didn't accomplish anything. He's going to switch out the Iron Bundle. Again, I'm still applying the Terrestrialization pressure. I don't want to do that, but um, he is not going to call my bluff, and he's going to switch out to, to the grass type and get the hospitality. I protect here. Again, I don't really know why I did that. I outspeed the Iron Jugulus, so if I if I wanted to like make a defensive play, I could have U-turned. If I wanted to just try and get chip damage, I could have um, Ivy Cudgeled anyway. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to switch out my Enamorous here because it does feel pretty important considering there's an Iron Hands and an Iron Jugulus I have to take out, and I'm at minus one special attack. I'm going to switch in my Pelipper because I do not want to switch in my Dreadnought in front of this Grass type. And he's going to protect. Ivy Cudgel goes in to protect. Uh, he did a really good job, actually, of completely neutralizing my... I don't think I got a single hit off, did I? Um... Like I said, I knew it was a bad matchup for Ogre Pond, and I brought it anyways, so. I'm going to bring out my Enamorous here again, now that I've gotten rid of the minus one special attack. And he is going to protect his thing, first of all. Obviously, I can Hurricane, 
and just destroy that thing so he doesn't want to do that. Um, he's going to hurricane my Enamorous and unfortunately, even though I can take it pretty well, he confuses me. But thankfully, I'm not going to get confused and he's going to die to Life Orb. So, um, that worked out fine, I guess. And I'm going to get off a free Tailwind because he didn't even target my Pelipper. So, um, that worked out pretty well for me. Um, and I'm just going to attack in his Protect. That doesn't do anything. Alright, now he's going to bring out his Iron Hands, which this thing is terrifying. I have a quiet nature um, Enamorous, and my Moonblast does like 45% to this thing. And the Poltergeist actually survives my Hurricane as well, which is super, super inconvenient because he's going to hit the, hit the Life Orb and just heal back up to like 30 Alright, so he's going to do Rage Powder here, and I know he's going to do Rage Powder, and I do Hydro Pump for some reason. I was trying to hit the Iron Hands, and it actually does end up just killing the Poltergeist, so that was fine, I guess. I would have probably Hurricaned if I had thought about it for half a second, but it ended up fine, and now my Enamorous is going to be a boss and snap out of confusion and hit him with the Moonblast. <clears throat> and as you can see, it does like 45%, which is crazy. Um, I know that this thing is a huge threat. He's going to Wild Charge, thankfully do some damage to himself while he's taking out my Enamorous. Uh, and now I can bring in my Dreadnought again. So back for game two with the Choice Band, with the Terra Fairy. Actually, we're not going to Terra yet because I know that he can only target one of my Pokemon with the Iron Bundle and I outspeed him with the Choice Band Rock Slide, so I'm not actually necessarily needing to Terrastalize, and I don't think he's going to target me um, with Drain Punch anyways, because I could Terrastalize. I'm going to double up into the Iron Hands uh, with the Hurricane, and it actually survives, which I probably should have known. I should have gone for a Hydro Pump, but it's whatever. I live the Wild Charge, and he dies to Recoil. Thank God, because I really, I really had not enough damage into that thing. Since I was locked into Rock Slide, I just could not take it out if it was at like 40% or something. He is going to Terrastalize here, and I am also, I think I'm going to Terrastalize. Yes, because now that it's just down to two versus one, I know that he can freeze dry super effectively, and um, so yeah. I'm just going to Terrastalize. I'm going to hit the, uh... Well, he's going to be faster, because my rain ran out. And I think he's just faster than me. Um, well, my tail, my Tailwind must be gone, too. But yeah, Icy Winds. I hit it with the Rock Slide. Choice Band Rock Slide. It's not going to KO, but it does do a two-hit KO. It's plenty of damage. And I will survive the, the Freeze Dry because of uh, my Terra Fairy. And that is game two good game to Blood Moon Salamence. It was honestly really fun. I'm glad I joined the league because I haven't played VGC in a long time. I've been on kind of like a smoke on random battles kick for a while, but this was a really fun game back. So I'm glad I'm, glad I'm here.